Hey y'all, welcome to a Wet Your Whistle Wednesday on Uncle Bub's Bell Buckle Beer Reviews. Hey, this week I have got a beer <clears throat> from a very unique brewery. Um, I have really enjoyed all their brews that I've tried. Um, they have a very strange name. Uh, and the way I pronounce it is Amagang. Amagang Brewery out of Cooperstown, Cooperstown, New York. This is a Hennepin. It's what I've got today. I have really enjoyed Amagang's brews, man. They've got some unique brews. And just some of them are just, oh man, outstanding. Um, I first heard of Amagang about three years ago, I guess. Um, a little more than three years ago, probably. I, I, my daughter and her boyfriend uh, got me a three pack of the big 750 milliliter bottles of Amagang, and they were all dark brews. One of them was a one of them was a porter, one of them was a stout, and there was something. Kenan, get down. <laughs> Cat trying to invade my privacy here. I'm trying to make a video. Leave me alone. Anyway, and it, it, it was a three pack of 750 milliliter bottles. They, they were uh, topped with a cork, and uh, they, they come with a unique glass, Amagang glass. It's very cool. Um, since my wife has actually broken the, <laughs> broken the glass, but I still remember those brews. I can't remember what they were called, but I remember I really enjoyed them. Um, so er, anytime I see anything by Amagang, I always give it a try when I can. Well, <clears throat> it's hard for me to find Amagang around here. Um, <clears throat> well, my little brother, a little over a month ago, my little brother was going to uh, Elizabethtown, Kentucky. They have a place called the Liquor Barn. It has a huge beer selection. And he said, hey, bub, when you go up, when I'm going up there, you want me to get you any beer? Well, I just went online and uh, I saw a bunch of different beers. I spent about $250, $250, purchased it all online. And then he picked it up for me while he was there. Um, and that's where I got this Hennepin, Hennepin uh, by the Amagang, because I've never seen it around here. Um, I can get the Three Philosophers. That's, that's pretty common around here. Um, and I think uh, there's another one that's, that's pretty common. I, I can't remember what it is, but you know, can't get a whole lot of Arma Gang brews around here. So I had him pick this up for me. Anyway, we're gonna try this today on a Wet Your Whistle Wednesday. This stuff is a 7.7% .7 alcohol by volume. Um, it says serve at 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Well. It's probably a little colder than that. There's a crown. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Sun's about to go in on me. I'm, it's kind of late afternoon here while I'm doing these. Um, 40 degrees Fahrenheit is, is the serving suggestion. I, I don't, whatever. I like my beer cold. That, that's all I know. Anyway, it says it's a, it's a farmhouse saison ale with spices is what it says so we're going to try this today on a wet your whistle wednesday it's got a pretty color to it pretty straw color oh it's going to get away from me dead gummit mm. Mm. oh man mm. dead gummit poured a little too stiff it's, i lost some of it there y'all but man, that's a pretty brew. Look at that beautiful color. Just a dark gold. Man. <clears throat> a little too vigorous with the pour in there. I pour too much, but actually, I, I don't mind pouring it vigorously. I just poured a little too much. Got away from me. And I can't really appreciate the aroma now. But the flavor of that head, man. It's got a, I don't know what kind of spice, it doesn't really say on here what kind of spices it uses. It's got the stupid government warning and all that bull crap on it. It don't really say, you know, what it's brewed with or the kind of spices or anything. But, uh, I can tell you some kind of spice in that head. It's good. I'm a little bit sharp. Mm. 
really enjoy tasting the heads of beers, y'all, because, man, <clears throat> you know, your domestic beers, you're not going to get it. But on these different kinds of beers, especially one with a head that lingers like that, I mean, to me, you got a head that lingers like that right there. I mean, if I'd have poured a Bud, now Bud's my go-to, right? If I'd have poured a Bud, that head's already be gone by now. But a head that lingers like that, usually, most of the time, you can, you can taste that head and it has a different flavor than the body of the beer. I've always found that. <clears throat> a nice lingering head will have a different flavor. And I can taste that. I don't know what it is. Um, well, what kind of spice it is? It's a sharp. It's a sharp flavor. It's not overbearing, but it's sharp. You can taste it. But it's good. Well, what you get? I still got some down in there. That's got some cinnamon. I'm gonna give it a good swish before I pour the rest of it in there. Because I can see some sediment down at the bottom of it. But that's a nice haze. It's a beautiful color. Beautiful head. Just a half and half beer. Look at that. Almost a half and half. Good four finger head on that thing. Beautiful color. A little bit hazy. Just a beautiful. I, I, I don't. I can see bubbles floating up through there. I don't know if y'all can see them or not. Man, them bubbles are just going to town in there. <clears throat> Feeding that head, man. I can already tell it's gonna have lacing. This is already starting to lace around. Mmm. Did y'all hear? That's a blue jay. There he goes. <clears throat> I've got a blue jay family. Hear the blue jay. I don't think he likes the idea of me being out here. <laughs> Man, used to, I had mockingbirds. I had mockingbirds that would, you know, just run all the other birds off my property. I always had a mockingbird around. Now the blue jays have seemed to run all the mockingbirds off or something, man, because I've got blue jays out the yin yang around here. Well, and, and, you know, they started, they started uh, coming in uh, uh, early this year. I noticed a blue jay family was kind of, you know, creeping its way in here, and now I don't see any mockers anymore. Anyway, whatever. Let's see if we can get the rest of this off in here now. Oh, we're gonna give it a swish. Sorry, almost forgot. You give it a good swish, get that stuff out of the bottom. <clears throat> All right, get out of there. Ooh. Maybe you swished it too hard. <laughs> it's all suds come out, look like. And still got, I still got a film of something in the bottom of it there. Anyway. All right. I'm a gang hennepin. And the head is delicious. Mmm. The beautiful gold color. Hazy. Bubbles, man. The bubbles are still just, I can see them on the edges of the glass, man. Just just barreling up to the top of that beer, man. I mean, they're just going crazy. Mm. It's not got a hoppy flavor at all. <clears throat> not at all. And I love hops. I love bitterness in beer. But I just love all kinds of different beer, y'all. This, this has got a unique flavor to it. It's got some kind of spice, and I can't, I don't know. I don't know what kind of spice it is, but it's a sharp flavor in that head. I haven't tried the body yet. We're fixing to. All right, y'all. So this uh, henna pen from the Alma Gang Brewing Company in Cooperstown, New York, is for all American workers. Hey, I love and appreciate y'all. Thank you, patriots, for working hard. We've, we've uh, you know, endured through all this crap that our country's been going through. You know, work day in and day out. I haven't had a day off. I mean, as far as, you know, what's going on. I've had a, con a consistent, you know, work schedule through all this crap. And a lot of us have. 
And I just want y'all to know, you know, I appreciate y'all for working hard to support yourselves and your families and paying your own way and not depending on the government to do it. Thank you for what you do. Cheers. Man, 7.7% alcohol by volume. This stuff is smooth as silk. It's got a crispness in the finish. <clears throat> and I, I taste the I taste the spice that I tasted in the head, but it's not as sharp. It's not as sharp in the body. But man, this stuff is smooth. Man, it is good. Um it says farmhouse sa saison ale with spices um i don't know what to compare it to y'all it's it's unique it's different and that's see that's why i like i'm a game you know there's several brewery, breweries that i've tried and there's hundreds that i haven't but several that i've tried they have uniqueness to the the brand or the the brewery they, they have a uniqueness in flavor where, you know, each Amagang that I've tried has been unique and different from anything else I've ever tried in my experience. And, and you know, I'm limited, man. I've, I've, I've only been trying different beers for about three years now. So, my you know, my scope is limited compared to a lot of other people. But in my experience, man, Amagang, Founders, Dogfish Head, um, who else? Sierra Nevada. You know, these breweries, man, I really enjoy them because uh, uh, New Belgium. I really enjoy them because most of their beers are unique. They're all, you know, derivative from other other breweries and, and each other. I mean, I, I don't think I've had two, you know, taste alike. They're, and I just really enjoy that. And that's why I like I'm a gang. Whenever I can find them, I know that that uh, I can try their beer, and it's going to be something different, and more than likely going to be something that I enjoy. And this is this is a good brew. You know the the head's kind of dissipated now, but you can still see some lacing around the glass. Um, I don't see the bubbles like I was before, but man, it's, you can still taste the carbonation in it. Just a delicious, delicious brew. And I'm glad I got a four pack of it. I'm glad my little brother picked it up for me. Thank you, David. Appreciate it, brother. Mmm. Very good brew. If you get a chance to try some Amagang, I don't care what it is. I don't care what kind of Amagang you try. If you get a chance to try it, you never tried Alma Gang, give them a shot, man. I've been really pleased with all of their brews. They're really good. All right, y'all, so that's been a Wet Your Whistle Wednesday this week. Hey, if y'all like the videos, there's a little beer mug right there. Y'all, I'm not monetized. I do this because I love y'all and I love beer. Now, I would like to be monetized. That would, It'd be sweet, man, to be able to drink beer and get paid for it. But I'm not, okay? I'm just not. I do it because I love it. I love, I love making videos and trying beer. So, hey, hit that like button. Give me a subscribe if you want to. I love and appreciate y'all. I'll see you tomorrow for a throwback Thirsty Thursday. We're going to try something a little, you know, more readily available to everybody tomorrow. Y'all stay tuned. Take care. Cheers. <laughs>